So this is, this is part two of our video on weak acid strong base. Right now we've got 50 mils of 0.2 molar formic acid, and now we're gonna add 12 and a half mils of 0.4 NaOH. Now we got to get these into moles again, remember. So this is going to be 0 0.010 and this is going to be 0 0.005 when we get things into moles. Just multiply that volume by the mole by the volume by the molarity and you'll get the moles here. What's going to happen is that's initial and what happens final is we're at 0 0.005 moles of formic acid, all of our base reacted, we've made 0 0.005 moles of base, and as always, we don't care about the water. We didn't have any formic acid to start. Now this is really unique, because if you notice, we have equal moles of HFO and Fo minus. And what that means is this is called the midpoint. And that seems a little bit unusual, but it makes perfect sense. This is going to be when half of the original acid has been neutralized, titrated. Now, if that's the case, if I take that point 0 0.005, excuse me, 0 0.005 moles of either one of these, this is going to be, I had 50 mils and 12 and a half mils, so 0 0.0625, excuse me, 0 0.0625 liters, and what that's going to give me is 0 0.080 molar of both of these. Well, guess what? We want the pH. The pH is equal to the pKa, 3.74 from the first part, plus the log of A minus, 0 0.08, 0 0.08. Guess what? Log of 1 is 0. The pH of this is going to be equal to the pKa. And that's our takeaway from this one is at midpoint, pH equals P. K A. That's an always for these weak acid, strong base, or weak base, strong acid.